Hi everyone, I'm Tara and I want the Chocolatier Total Chocolat. Today I'm doing a recipe that includes our um, cocoa gin. So for gin week next week, so it's just some recipes you can do at home to obviously celebrate too. With the last few days that we've had, have been really lovely and warm and hopefully the heat wave that we're going to have for the next few weeks, I uh, thought doing a sorbet would be a really good idea. So nice and cool and refreshing for you guys uh, and also easy enough for you to do at home. So. It's gonna be a blackberry and gin sorbet. So I've got 300 grams of blackberries in here and all we need to do is blitz them up. I've got a hand blender, but if you've got a food processor, that works too. So just simply, if I turned it on, that would have worked. <laughs> simply blitz. <laughs> so now we've got our blitz up blackberries, what we need to do is just pass them through a sieve to get rid of all the seeds. So just simply with a metal sieve um, and a bag of spatula, just push it through. And as you can see, you kind of see all the juice come through. Uh, this will probably just take a few minutes until you've got all the juice through. So next we've got six grams of sugar and 130 ml of water. What we need to do is just pop it into the pan and simmer it down until all the sugar's dissolved. So, put the water in and then the sugar. And then you just want to keep stirring it over a gentle heat until all the sugar is dissolved. Once you've done that, um, you just need to pop it to the side and let it cool right down. So maybe half an hour or so. So my sugar syrup is now cooled. So what I'm going to do is just pour that into the blitzed up blackberries. Like so. Then I'm going to do a squeeze of lemon. I'm going to start with just half a lemon at the moment, um, taste it and kind of see how I feel about the acidity and the sweetness. So just catching all the pips so they don't go in there. Amazing. Then the best bit, the gin. You just dry my hands. So. I'm gonna say a double shot. I don't have a shot glass. I have, a, I have, a, I have a, uh, scales and a jug, but you know, that's no fun. So I'm just gonna free pour, I think it's about 50 mil. So. About that. Let's hope. So just give it a really good mix together. And what I'm gonna do is just give it a little try. A, it's acidic enough, well, and sweet enough, and that balance is there. But B, obviously, the most important thing is to see if it tastes like gin. Oh no! More gin, guys, more gin. It's quite a big glass. Try that one. What's the point in having a sorbet if it doesn't taste like gin, you know? The name is Blackberry and Gin Sorbet, so it needs to taste like gin. I'll probably end up using that old bottle before I know it. <laughs> right, let's go again. Just keep my spoon. Oh, we're getting somewhere now. I'm just going to do one last glug. So I'm quite happy that just half a lemon is enough for me. I want, I want this to have a, a kind of zing and a um, refreshing taste to it because I think that's what sorbet should be. But if you want to make it sweeter, obviously you can um, make a, a bigger um, percentage of sugar syrup so you could add more sugar um, or equally not add the lemon at all. Also, before you obviously blitz up your fruit, try your fruit and see how acidic your fruit are because it depends um, you know, on the season and things, how fruit, how your sweet your fruit will be. So, oh yeah, that's better. That's better. So, whatever that is in mill, and whatever that is in mill is what I've used. I mean, it feels like that probably only is about fifty. Mil, but I don't know, maybe my measurements are really off. Then what I'm going to do is just pour it into a. I'm going to pour it into like a thin dish. And then roughly kind of every half an hour, 
take it out of the freezer and just either get a fork or a whisk and kind of just break it up or until you see ice starting to kind of form. Obviously, if you've got an ice cream maker, great. Um, you know, just pop it in that and follow whatever the rules are on that. Um, I don't have an ice cream maker, so I'm kind of going with the uh, freezer route and hoping for the best. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back with the finished product. <laughs> So my sorbet's been in the freezer for about half an hour now. Um, obviously it's not set, but I hope you can kind of see that it's just starting to set. So when I said about getting a fork or a whisk, just kind of going along and breaking that all up and mixing it back into the liquid. Um, obviously, you know, it will need to be in the freezer for a good three, four hours. Um, but you want to just start seeing it like this and then every, I say, kind of half an hour to an hour, giving it a little mix until it's, all like that and obviously it's firm enough to uh, actually eat. <laughs> so the sorbet is out now. It took about five hours in the end. Um, I just kept taking it every, out every hour and crushing it up like I showed previously. And whatever that glug of gin that I did, uh, it was a really good measure, it definitely taste of gin. Um, but here it is anyway, it's just starting to melt by the time I put the camera on. But yeah, really good one to try. Um, I'm gonna go outside now and enjoy it in the sunshine. <laughs> but definitely give it a go, you know, try it with other fruits. As I said, if you can get your hands on some rhubarb, that'd be a really nice one, you know, with the kind of pink gin um, flavors and vibes going on. So yeah, give it a go, let us know how you get on, uh, and I hope you enjoy. Take care, guys.